This farm has been in the family for 60 or 70 years. My mother was born here, I was born here. And in the past, it was very much sort of a, a lifestyle farm. And about 15 years ago, my father sold his agricultural business in the Midlands and started looking at trying to do something on a more intensive scale. My name is Hamish Godbold, and we're here in the, in the KwaZulu Natal Midlands. We decided that flowers, and in particular proteas, was the way we wanted to go for a number of reasons. One of them was that you can do it on an intensive scale, and it had the potential to become an, an export crop. There's a big difference between commercial farming uh, protea operations and the sort of felt wild harvested pro proteas. In order to harvest from the felt you, you need a license and there are very strict protocols as to how that gets done. Growing proteas on a commercial basis on a farm is very different to that. A number of these varieties which we grow have been bred specifically for commercial cultivation. We've got very deep, well-drained, humic soils, which is very different to how these plants grow naturally. For some varieties, it works well. Others, they don't like these soils, but we've had to work out which varieties enjoy these soils and which don't. There was a bit of interest in flowers and proteas in this area at the time, but we very quickly realized that for it to be able to become a viable export crop and to be able to keep markets overseas, we needed to be able to grow quite quickly and have that scale and volume which the markets and the retailers overseas needed. About four or five years ago we started forming a company called Zulu Flora which is in effect a marketing company. We realized that to be a marketing company we need that scale and we then started trying to get other farmers in and around this area involved and growing the right proteas for this area. Okay, this is one of our new uh, pincushion varieties. It's called a Yoba Sun. It was bred or developed by a product development company in the Cape called Future Fainbos. Zulu Flora has the exclusive rights to this variety in the summer rainfall region of South Africa. This is one of the first ones which we're starting to plant on a bit of a bigger scale. It's two to three weeks earlier than the Cape. So even if they have planted this variety in the Cape, we've still got an advantage in that we can go into the market quite a lot earlier than them. There are a couple of things which we do differently here in, in KwaZulu-Natal compared to what happens in the Cape. Uh, all our proteas are grown dry land. We don't irrigate here. Our annual rainfall in this area is between sort of 1,000 and 1,200, sometimes 1,500 mils a year. The majority of that falls in the summer months, but we do get enough rain during the winter months in a normal year to keep everything going during the winters. We don't have that added cost of irrigation which they do have in the Cape. This is how our rooted cuttings will arrive. Uh, as you can see they're in a sterile medium here. Uh, they are nice and healthy. You can see where they're going to start shooting from uh, and then they've got nice health, healthy roots. At this stage for our business we found it more beneficial to buy in these cuttings and we buy them from a very good nursery, Arnelia Nursery down in the Cape who provide a really good service and good quality products. We're now uh, harvesting one of our pincushions here. This is uh, Leucospermum tango. As you can see, the ladies have got secateurs. They're quite special secateurs here in that every time they, they cut, it, uh, it sprays a disinfectant onto the blade so that we're disinfecting the harvesting wound of the flower. What the ladies are doing here is that they're going around picking the flowers at the right pick stage. What we're trying to do is we're trying to pick it when it's 50% open here. This will mean that it's mature enough so that it will open up fully when it's put in water uh, at, at, the, at the end stage for our client. If we pick it when it's more closed, you know, something like this, there's a possibility that it actually won't open. Uh, so it's quite important that they pick it at the right stage. And, that, and this is why we have to go through these blocks four to five times a week, just harvesting off the, off, off the flowers as they mature to the right stage. So it's very important that they are grading the flowers and choosing the right flowers to, to harvest. Then when they harvest, they're also trying to leave at least a sort of 10 centimeter bearer at the bottom, which is where our growth for next year is, is, is going to come off. If that's cut too, too low, you won't get as many stems off it. If it's cut too high, you'll find that your bush starts getting too high and, un, and un, unmanageable. As soon as the flowers are picked and they're put straight into water, so each of these uh, buckets is just filled with, with normal, fresh, clean water in anticipation for being processed, boxed, and then shipped. This just ensures that the flowers don't dehydrate and it all sort of adds to the vase life. This is a white king protea. It's called a Yorba Arctic Ice. We put a bag on it just to 
protect it against any sort of insect damage as well as bird damage but it does form a very a nice big white king protea which is really is very spectacular. The problem we have here in Natal is that we get a hell of a lot more growth than in the Cape. These varieties are growing so quickly and with a big flower on the top they do tend to fall over. We therefore have to have some sort of a support netting in order to try and keep them upright. I think we are very lucky with the labour force and the calibre of labour we have on this farm. We probably employ about 20 to 30 women on this property alone and they seem to have an affinity for working with flowers and the packing and the grade. Hopefully enjoy their work. They are from you know around this area. They all walk into work every morning and are able to you know five ten minutes after finishing work in the evening all, all, all back home which is a huge advantage.